Hey y'all, it's me Alex. Today I'm filming a little chatty get ready with me featuring the Nabla Wildberry Cutie palette. I think that's how, that's the order of words that you're supposed to say it. I just wanted to do a little get ready with me, catch up, talk about like everything that's going on. Maybe not necessarily in the beauty community because I'm kind of tired of it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I feel about that. So let me go ahead, prime my eyes, and we're just gonna get started. I will talk about like what products I'm using as I go through. I'm gonna be using my NYX HD eyeshadow primer because that's what I always use. I'm just placing that all over my lids. I've used this palette um, a couple times before this just because it is so pretty. I don't know how much y'all know this, but I'm very, very attracted to like berry tones of eyeshadow. I love purples. I love berries. It, that's, it just brings me a lot of joy. So uh, this went on sale on like Beauty Bay and it took forever to get here because Beauty Bay is from the UK. And honestly, I could have just bought this off of Ulta, but I, I wasn't thinking through and Beauty Bay had a really good sale. So I'm going to just begin with the shade Botanic Juice here because I really like that shade. Pardon my nails. I keep on saying that I'm going to uh, fix my nails, but I never do. I should just do it by the time I have my job interview this Friday, which by the way, I have a job interview on Friday. So that'll be fun. Obviously, I'm still unemployed if I'm job hunting. I'm still salty that this is, this pandemic is what I graduated into, but you know, I think I have some opportunities. I'll be fine. Um, I had actually a really good talk with um, one of my pastors today and we were talking about how in times like these when you're graduating it's okay to not like immediately go into the field that you want to when you only have so many options and that doesn't make you like any less call to ministry it just means that you're gonna take a different path than you intended well to go ahead and just get into the existential feels of all of this i've always been the kind of person who i never quite wanted to take a path that was like laid out for me, you know, or to things in the traditional way. I'm kind of realizing that that means that it might only be fitting that this is exactly uh, the direction that my life is taking right now. So, so I'm like trying to shift my mindset from, uh, first of all, I'm going to use Venom to see how that can deepen that up. Um, but I'm kind of trying to shift my mindset from like being really depressed that this is how things are going because I am very depressed. Surprise, surprise, which explains how my uploads have or have not been going. But instead of being like depressed about like this being the direction that things are going, just kind of using it as an opportunity to make my own way. I'm not saying that that means that I'm optimistic or that everyone in this world should be optimistic because that's not true. But I am saying I'm trying to like reframe things and just kind of see where that takes me. I love these colors. These are so beautiful and so pigmented. I really wish well, it's safer for my wallet that Nopla doesn't do as many like colorful palettes. They kind of do neutrals or half neutral, half colorful. So it's probably safer for my wallet, but if they did more uh, colorful color schemes, I would be very, very into it. So let me see what I want to add because I could almost use all the shades in this palette, but I kind of don't want to. I think I'm just going to go in with more Venom on the inner and outer corner and do myself a little um, halo eye. I know that there's lots of ways for me to do good in the world. Um, that's kind of my only career goal is to like help people. So anywhere that I can do that will make me happy. Well, so long as like I can, you know, survive and all that uh, little things like that. <laughs> so that's kind of been the main focus. Now let's talk about, I did feel like I wanted to mention why my uploading has been weird for like the past week. One, I've been depressed. Two, um, I've been kind of going to a few more doctor's appointments because surprise, I finally got health insurance. Thank God, um, after a year fighting for it. So we've been trying to figure out all of my chronic pain issues that I've had for the last seven years since I was 17 years old. Um, I have absolutely no answers, yet they took eight vials of blood out of me only to tell me that I have high cholesterol, which like, I know because I eat like shit. So now I'm trying to find some like pain specialist in my network just to kind of see exactly what I could be doing because 
I feel like the pain meds that I've taken for the last few years haven't really been working recently either and I know that's also a combination of like me not being able to work out how I want to because my gym is closed so I've also become a lot less strong like physically speaking and when I don't have as much body strength that is when uh, my back hurts more and I just generally have a lot more pain so like it doesn't make it go away completely when I can work out but it helps. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Bucolic Baby, which by the way, when I got this, I thought that that meant a baby who had the plague, but then I realized that that was bubonic, and bucolic actually means like being out in the countryside. I did just like not heard that word before in my life. And it's like, oh, that shade is really pertinent to how the world is going right now. And then I was like, oh, wait a minute. Thank God. That's a much better uh, a name for a shade and so being like a baby that has a plague it's like just like being out nice in the countryside and all that but yeah so that's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't been able to post how I want to just because that's been taking so much of my time and energy I was planning on being really really good this week and having a whole bunch of videos up I had pre-filmed like three but as I went to edit them well, one of them I decided I didn't want to do anymore. Um, I kind of was like, okay, that concept actually uh, doesn't entertain me as much as I thought it did. Like, it, I wasn't happy with it, so I was like, okay, you know what, I can scrap that. I have two more videos. I can just film one more and it'll be fun. And the other two videos, I noticed that I had a breakout around my mouth, like, on either side that just made it look like I had eaten an entire pizza just, like, really, really sloppily. And it was so prevalent in both of those videos that I was like, oh, that won't look good at all if I post that. I will look like I don't uh, care, which like, I, if I can tell y'all a secret, I do actually care. Also this week, Case and I are volunteering at my church. Um, the youth group is um, going around the neighborhood, like fixing people's houses and stuff. And we're basically gonna be out from 8 30 in the morning to three o'clock in the afternoon every day so i'm just like trying to at least pre-film some footage that i can edit when i get home and i'm just gonna use a little bit of blackberry to deepen that up and i think the other thing too is that i do genuinely enjoy making videos so much that i was like well i could give myself this week off and kind of take that as a sign but i genuinely like doing this so much that i really don't want to you know, and I also feel like I have so many video ideas as well that, like, I don't want to stop. I don't want to stop. So I'm not going to. These shades layer up so nicely. I love it. Like, I don't have to do anything. I love novel shadows. They're so good. I'm gonna do my base first and then do my lower lash line. Just because I've been doing that a little bit more in videos where I'm not doing like a three looks on palette or whatever. By the way, the format that I did for my, the Melt Cheese and Parties palette, which will probably be the one right before this in terms of times that I'm filming. Did y'all like that? I really liked how I filmed that and that sort of format for my like multiple looks, one palette reviews. Um, actually two of the videos that I had done um, and ended up needing to scrap were going to be more looks and one palette with some of the other eyeshadows that I got because I bought a lot of eyeshadow recently because I do stress by things which isn't great or healthy but it's how I'm handling things at the moment. Um, I'm trying not to anymore. If I buy something I do want to use it in some format on my channel um, and that's kind of my rule for myself. So instead to kind of catch up because those were, I filmed basically two looks, in, well two, two looks, one palettes in one day basically and because of that weird breakout around my mouth I was like I don't feel comfortable posting that and I'm just taking more of uh, botanic juice here along my lower lash line. As soon as I finish filming this I am going to do like a, basically all of the eyeshadows I bought recently do a roundup of all of that and talk about all of them and how I feel because I have used so many of them whether it's on camera or not. Yeah, like I said, it hasn't always been on camera. Oh, these shadows are fantastic. And I'm just going to deepen that up with a little more Blackberry. I love all of these shades together so very much. Yeah, so those have been kind of the main things going on in my life. Um, I've been watching a lot of Netflix and playing a lot of Animal Crossing otherwise, so...
And then I'm just going to use a shade Alchemy 2.0 in my inner corner because I think that's the one that makes the most sense as an inner corner highlight. Oh, this is so pretty. I like this so much. This is why I love berry tones on myself. I think they're just so pretty. Okay, let me do my mascara as usual. I'm not changing up that much with that portion. Mostly the eyes is just kind of warm to up because like the rest of my face I always do the same thing. So as for the state of the beauty community, is it really so hard to be a good person? Like at this point, I feel like there are a lot of people who do very wonderful analyses of this who I can link to. Um, I Actually this evening I was watching um, Cat Black do a video on basically befriending and forgiving racist white people and kind of the psychology and what we should be doing instead and I will link that down below and she put it in the context of Jeffrey and Shane and I think a lot of the issues that go on in the beauty community she and a lot of other people do very good do a very good job of relating it beyond the tendency for drama that happens not just in the beauty community but in any community and I think that work is very important and I prefer in my own life to deflect to other people, people who do that work like Cat Black, to be the ones who properly speak on things. But kind of when I take a look at the stuff that's going on, I'm like, how hard is it to be a decent human being? I'm using my Fenty Matchsticks contour stick. Found a stick on the ground and now I'm gonna use it. Except I found it on the internet. Found a stick at Sephora and now I'm gonna use it. I've been watching a lot of TikTok recently. At this point I'm just kind of like why? Obviously all of that garbage that people do needs to be called out. Like I'm not negating that by any means. I'm not gonna say I'm done because I'm never gonna stop calling it out or you know defending what's right. I feel like it all just boils down. It's like how hard is it to be a kind person? It should not be that hard to not be awful, to not say bad things, you know, and we shouldn't be giving platforms to people who do bad things. Granted, I don't think that's necessarily going to stop anytime soon because folks like me who, like, I liked Jeffree Star for about five minutes and when he first came onto the YouTube scene and then I learned all that he has done and I'm like, uh, no, fuck that. It's not gonna be people like me who deplatform him. I think it was Audra at home who was saying that in one of her recent uh, Get Ready With Me's. It's not gonna be people like us who are already like, yeah, no, screw him. It's the people who are fans of him and that may or may not ever happen. I'm gonna just use this Milani Cheek Kiss in Nude Flush. If you are interested in the Glossier Cloud paints, this is a good dupe for that. To me, it just boils down to be a decent goddamn human being, stand up for what's right, and uh, don't give platforms to bad people. And like, I think the other thing too, <sighs> so many people are just like saying, well, you should ignore the drama and it'll go away. No, that's not how that works. Let's liken this to bullying. In case you couldn't guess by who I am as a person now, um, I was someone who was actively bullied a lot in school. I'm also using my Makeup Revolution baked highlighter here because uh, I'm trying to pan it. But obviously, or someone who was bullied in school a lot. And a lot of the advice that I got was to ignore the bullies and it would go away. Do you know the kind of bullshit that advice is? Ignoring it does not actually make it go away. When I would try and take the advice of like teachers and whoever that were like ignore it. That's usually what made things escalate because it's like okay well I'm ignoring it. They still wanted to say things that were bad enough to get a rise out of me. And standing up for myself didn't work either but that's mostly because I was one kid and it, it, you know the entire school system, the, the, the whole system is fucked. Not just schools, not just YouTube. We live in a fucked up world. So obviously that wasn't gonna make it go away. And that is the exact same thing when we're talking about YouTube drama or racism or sexism or homophobia. Ignoring that shit isn't going to make it go away. It is only going to make people in privilege and power more comfortable. Because when I would tell teachers or the administration or I would try to get anyone involved to stop people from bullying me and my friends in school, they told us to ignore it because that would make it go away, but it wouldn't make it go away to us, it would make it go away to them. And so when we tell people that we just need to ignore people like Jeffree Star, ignore people like Shane Dawson, ignore, 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 no, you 
want to be able to ignore them. You want to be able to live in your bubble of privilege and not think about the bad things that are going on in the world. Yeah, because once it becomes your problem, it's an inconvenience to you. Once people call you out for supporting someone who does awful things, then that makes you uncomfortable. And if we stop talking about it, that means you'll never have to deal with it again. But that doesn't actually stop the harm from being done. That only allows people to ignore the harm being done. And so that's why I won't shut the fuck up. If you're ever wondering, wow, why won't Alex shut the fuck up? That's it. Ignoring things doesn't actually make it go away. Calling it out, making people uncomfortable, and actively trying to make change, that's what makes it go away. But people don't like that because it's disruptive and they can't live in their bubble anymore. So let me find a lipstick and then we're gonna wrap this video up. I did not intend to get upon a high horse, but don't I always end up here? I'm gonna use a ColourPop lippy stick because I'm not sure how I'm feeling about ColourPop right now. I'm not really buying from them, but I would like to use what I have. And I think this would look pretty decent. Okay, I think this looks good. Um, I need to go film another video. I have about 42 minutes before I need to call my parents because I've been calling them once a week at eight o'clock every single week ever since I went to college because I'm an only child. If you like my rantings and ramblings, you should subscribe, you should like this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for making it this far with me. I'm not going to apologize for getting upon my high horse because quite frankly, if you've ever interacted with me ever, you should know that this comes occasionally. So anyway, like, subscribe, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.